Yo, 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 what's good, people? It's your boy Heights. Hershey. Fleet Cobain. And this is Afraid of Heights episode three. And this week we're going to dedicate this episode to our boy Lamar Odom. He was found unconscious on Tuesday at a Nevada brothel after a weekend of turning up with prostitutes and cocaine, herbal Viagras, and who else? Or whatever. Oh, oh, they say he had a bottle of cognac. So it was a long weekend for Lamar. They say he's doing a little better now as the as of the time of this recording. That's that's the best news for that man. Yeah, it was looking kind of scary for Lamar. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, man. But before we get there, though, let's take it back to the beginning, man. Because Lamar had a long he had a long road of troubles before he got to this point. Yo, he went through a lot. <laughs> yeah, man. Like that's the thing, though. Before you you know you start judging, you got to kind of think about like, damn, this nigga had a long childhood, like. His mom's died of cancer. His father was, like, missing because he was addicted to heroin his whole life. So he never really had no stability coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like, so as a kid, he was like, the, if it wasn't for basketball, he probably wouldn't have been nothing any goddamn way. So thank God for the NBA. Thank God for him being 6'10 and a lefty. You know, he was at Christ the King. He got kicked out of there. In his senior year, for failing out, his grades was bad, so he had to go to school upstate. Then this nigga goes to Nevada, the UN, UNLV, start fucking up there. They say he didn't take his ACTs. Then, did you say some shit like he got caught a hooker or some shit? Yeah, they say he got arrested for soliciting a prostitute. So that was the young, that's young Lamar Odom right there. That's like, that's the pregame, preseason that was when he was like 18. See what I'm saying? So he he had a long, long life. That nigga 18 was rough. Just to make it here is like, goddamn. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, up, that, that's the, the life of any celebrity, young celebrity that get money that come from a rough background. They just enhance what they do. Yeah, nah, Lamar shit is like a cautionary tale, though, because it's like the... The same shit that, that built him up, though, that whole Hollywood and fame shit, that's the same shit that kind of, like, helped him crack, too, because well, there's one thing when you're going through a lot, but there's a whole nother shit to go through all of that in the media, everybody in your business, then they making up lies, some shit can be true. It's just like, that nigga ain't really have a break, you know what I'm saying? But he had the choice on what he could do with his life. He knew what to do and what not to do. He chose to smoke marijuana while he was playing basketball. He yeah. chose to do them drugs. Nobody yeah. told him to do it. Yeah, he said when he was at Rhode Island, every, before every game, he smoked the L. Like he needed to. Nah, you see, that's when that motherfucker. He had a he he had a drug nah. problem. That's a drug I'm, problem. I'm not right judging there. nobody that got a drug problem because. I got a drug problem. But My see, drug problem might not be real as they drug problem, but it's still a drug problem. It's a different drug problem. That's yeah, but it's still a you know drug what it problem. Is? You so know what I makes can't the, judge them. You know what makes the drug problems what worse is what you have at risk. That nigga got a lot at risk. <laughs> Josh, I don't got shit at risk. Nigga. Nah, nah, but it's just like I'm comparing, comparing <laughs> in comparison to Lamar Odom. No, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, you have nothing at risk. That nigga had a lot at risk. So think about it though, like. He's smoking weed before every game in college. That could fuck up his NBA. His NBA uh, prospect, you know what I'm saying? Like, say say, say he was to be smoking weed and some shit, uh, and drinking and some shit in college, and he get into an accident. There go his whole career. He would have blew, blew up before he even got to the NBA. That's what I'm saying. It's like, damn, dog, we got so much on the table. If all you got to do is put down the fucking the spliff, my nigga, then put down the goddamn spliff. You don't got to smoke. You don't have to smoke. My he nigga. probably had to smoke to clear his mind. Cause look, look, it's a lot of pressure on on him at a young age. Okay. He, he didn't have a stable home. Mm-hmm. He was nine out of ten. He was probably the star of the team. Everybody depended on him to win. Exactly. And then after he leaves school, he got to go home to a rough home. So he probably needed something to clear his mind. He didn't have a basketball all the time. Yeah, but you gotta look at Sometimes this. Sometimes the gym's cold. Um, the gym closes. But when he got he to Rhode Queens, Island, he from Queens. It get cold. You, you, we from New York. We know it get cold. Gym closed after certain hours. He had to have some clear his mind. Well, he got to. But you see, look. That's what I'm trying to tell you, though. He got to think about it. Cause look, when he got to Rhode Island, that was his second chance. He was already at Las Vegas and lost it. They kicked him off the team already. 
This was his second chance. And now you're over there smoking weed. Right, he made it through Rhode Island because he was probably talented. They all probably knew he was smoking before every game. But in college ball, they probably was just like, fuck it. So yeah. don't you win and then produce him, my nigga. Do what you got to do. But when it came to the NBA draft, there was the, it was between him and Elton Brand to go number one, right? The Bulls interviewed him. I heard about that smoking weed shit. Yeah, it's like, the fuck out of here. We gonna go out to Brain. He got a fucking drug problem. And he got, look, look, that was before he even got drafted. His second but, season, but, but, you know what but, happened in his second season? What happened? He got suspended. For oh, what? No. You know what he got suspended for? Smoking weed. Smoking motherfucking weed. Drug problem, my nigga. Five game suspension. You know how much this nigga probably make for one game? Let alone five? He probably lost a million dollars. Off of some weed? Shit. Fuck that. Come on, son. If you got a job interview tomorrow, you going to stop smoking. And that's just for a regular job. This motherfucker that's got the bad. job of a lifetime. It's millions of kids just sitting at home dreaming to go to the NBA. He had the opportunity. And He's he, 6'10". And he, left-handed. He, and he, he got and he, handled. Come and on. he made it. He, 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 he two-time world champion. He made it. All right. Want to know what it was with Lamar Odom? It's just like anybody else. Life is a balance. Yo. Look what look at all the stuff he, you said he been through, right? Mm-hmm. You know what happened? He had the drugs and he had basketball. So always a balance. Nah. Right now, he's in a, he in a predicament here life now is not about, because they took life is not basketball about, away from him. Listen. So he only turned to the drugs. Yeah. So you now he felt deeper than the see, drugs. I, he lost the balance when he lost basketball. All right, but you see, that's what I'm saying. Life ain't about balance. Life is about choices. You life know why? You know why he lost basketball? Because the choice that he made to use drugs. Bro. It's up to him to choose not to use drugs, bro. Ain't nobody bro. forcing that shit in his head. But hands. the choices his you choice make in life exactly. balance out your no, life nigga. and whatever it is. No, if you want... And listen, if you, it's all up to you. Nobody can't force Lamar Odom to smoke crack. Nobody can't force Lamar Odom to do coke. Nobody can't force Lamar Odom to go practice to play ball. But you know what, though? He was 6'10". He was left-handed. He chose to work on his game to play ball. He also chose to do drugs. And that he was chose the that. And that was that's his not, balance. That's what made him no, happy. But you see, that's what made him happy. But, dog, once you know that you're putting that at risk, you got to choose what's more important. Getting he probably high or getting paid, bro. He probably knew he couldn't have one without the other. What? So why why not? He tried to use it the sneak way. No, see that nah, that's that's bullshit. that's bullshit because you know why? He's a grown ass man. Once he was eighteen and he got suspended the first time when he was in the, with the Clippers, he you thought he would stop then. Uh, All right, you, that uh, was a mistake. When he when he went when he's when he's, he fell from number one to number four, he didn't realize then like damn maybe the drug shit is fucking me up. You know how much millions? It's like at least $2 million in between the first pick and the fourth pick. He lost $2 million off of a rumor that he smoked weed. And then you know what he do in his second season? Prove the fucking rumor true and get high. Come on, my nigga. You got to choose to do better, Lamar. What the fuck? He a grown-ass man. And at, that, and at that time, he had a daughter. His daughter was born in 98. He got suspended in what, 2001? What, what, what made him a man? What he have a daughter. Nigga, what you mean? He had a daughter? Listen, son, once you, listen, he decided to have a kid, right? He's responsible for that little girl. You can't say, little girl, I'm sorry. Oh, I got kicked out the league or whatever because I was getting high because I had stress. Nigga, listen, everybody got stress, bro. But when it comes, when you got an outlet to play ball and make millions of dollars, my nigga, all you got to do is chill with the drugs. Come on, bro. He probably didn't have nobody to show him better. Listen, 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 my nigga. His pops was I'm not saying... I'm not His s- pops had a drug addiction. Okay. His mom died when he was 12 years old from okay. cancer. But she had a drug addiction. It's, All right. It's, it's his family background. It's his right, DNA. So, but, but look at it like this, though. Look at it like this. He seen what drugs did to his mother. He seen what drugs do to his father. He should he, do better. He got suspended one time, so he seen what drugs could do to him. Instead of putting the shit down, he fucking start going to all the drugs. You get what I'm saying? Cause it's like yo, son. He couldn't cope with the stress of being a celebrity. All right, well, listen, dog. Oh, well, then that's where you stopped it. Exactly, <laughs> like yo, son. That's what I'm trying to tell you, son. It's all about the choices you make. 
Like, yo, if you see, like... All right, you know... All right, look, look, time out, time out. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. One second, one second, one second. Perfect example. He seen his friend Jamie overdose. He had another friend that overdosed, but like, a week apart from Jamie overdosing. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not a wake-up call to you, my nigga? And he overdosed? And then he... Oh, look, that's what I'm saying. Before he even overdosed... Before he overdosed, he seen what drugs did to his father. Seen what drugs did to his mother. Seen what drugs did to his fucking best friend. Seen what drugs did to his other friend. And still, my nigga, you ain't have no wake up call to chill, bro. No step back. Overdose game. At, at, at some time, it's just, it, it comes to a point where you gotta be like, yo, my nigga, you gotta step back and look at yourself like, yo, it's on me too. Like, you can't just blame every fucking body else. Cause at the end of the day, son, it's his choice. Even if Jamie was like, yo, Lamar, smoke this shit, smoke this shit, smoke this shit. He could have still, he's a grown ass man, he can say no. He can say no. It's up to him to say no, son. It's his career, it's his life, he got kids. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he's just playing ball just to take care of his goddamn self. That nigga had two kids, he had three. He lost a little young boy. So he know, he know. He got a lot, to, he got a lot on the line, my nigga. And then he ultimately blew it. Think about it. All of them shits that was leading up to this nigga fucking finally getting out the league, he was mad warning signs from college, from high school. Like, goddamn, bruh. And then eventually it just, it all came together. And what? He fucked it up. At the end of the day, Lamar fucked it up. Sorry to say it, dogs. I, 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 I fucking, I feel bad for him. Because you know what I'm saying? He had a rough upbringing. But, son, your past don't got to determine you, like, your, your, your future, my nigga. And he had so many opportunities to do better. And he fucked it up. He fucked it up. Right or wrong? Yeah, but you got to understand. Like, I'm, I'm saying, son, I know you feel bad for him, but... The nigga, he, he had a shot. He could have definitely did better. It's not the plot of feeling bad. He had, of feeling, he had, bad, he had so him, many wake-up calls. But he I did. know where he coming from. All right, look, 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 look. Now, I don't know where he's coming from. Look at it like this. His, <laughs> it's like I, his cousin his cousin died, right? He goes to his cousin's funeral. He's in an accident. He kills somebody. All right, that's rough, my nigga. And I know I can't, I can't say how everybody deal with stress and some shit. But you can't use that as the time now, like, oh, man, I'm going through so much shit. Now let me get shit, get more fucked up. No, nigga. What, how is that going to help? You just going to make matters worse. Because right after listen, he killed the, at, right after he was in the accident that killed the little listen, dude, a 15-year-old kid, he got locked up listen, for a DUI. Listen, that's how he's dealing with his stress. That's not... You, deal, you, with, know, son, you he, deal with stress the same way. When you have a hard day at work, right? Mm-hmm. And you coming? What's the first thing you say? Flee, roll a blunt, right? Wait, when he no. when he killed that when he killed that fifteen year old, he said, "Jim, pass the pipe." Same shit. Dog. He deal with it the same way. It's just he, different levels. No, it's the I. That's p- I perfect. Them levels is too far. It's different. Because he got money. He, exactly. Probably he has, you have money. money. He has the money. money. I'm not doing crack. I'm not doing heroin. I'm not doing none of that. Everybody in the industry though. do coke and shit like that. No, he I'm, had the money to go seek professional help. Professional help. Yo, NBA insurance is the best insurance in the world, my nigga. He gonna went to see a psycho, a psychotherapist, all types of therapists, my G. Not better. Or but instead, he goes or to get drugs. Or That's what, or what I'm saying shit. is what I'm saying is it's in his DNA and his makeup to go to drugs, my nigga. That's what it's all about. It's in his he DNA. chose to go to drugs. It's in his he DNA. had other options. He knows. He knows. It's like, yo, you can't get... Once a kid... Like, if you tell a kid, yo, if you touch this, you're going to get burnt. And they touch it. What you do? You say, I told you if you touch it, you're going to get burnt. But quick he question. He knows what, if but, you touch drugs, what's the consequence? But quick question. But quick and question. still relies but on drugs. Quick question, though. What you, what you want him to do? Go to a psychiatrist? He could, and anything, what they gonna do? Prescribe anything, him drugs. Anything besides drugs, my nigga. They gonna prescribe him drugs no. anyway if he go to a psychiatrist. No, not necessarily, a doctor, bro. They prescribe him drugs. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. They, they gonna say he 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 stressed out. 
Not Let's put them on the Yeah, put them on the anti Even if they did, but yeah, those... Yeah, they're going to put them on drugs. Those, and he's going to chip out anyway. Only thing he's going to do, because he got a drug habit, is in his blood. His mother was on it, and his father's on it. Only thing he's going to do is just overdose on that. Yo, bro, it's, a, it's, it's millions of kids whose mother and father was on drugs, and they never touched it, son. But it's also a million of kids that mother and father... Is on drugs and they touched and it. And they weak. And he just is well, one that's of what them. I'm saying. And they they're they, weak. But you know, a lot of them don't have. They're they, not weak. Yes, they're a lot weak. of them. They are. A lot of them didn't have the op, the opportunity to change their life like Lamar Odom did. This nigga, it wasn't like Lamar Odom was still in Queens struggling like my moms and my pops. Was, my moms and my pops' consequences is I'm living through they shit. They fucked up and now I gotta deal with they fuck ups. Dogs, he made it, bro. He had a, he could start a whole new life for his fucking kids. But you know what he chose to do? Continue the pattern so now his kids can say, my dad was on drugs. Like, nigga, that should have been motivation for Lamar Odom to say, I don't want no, my no, fuck. No. I don't want my what, son. What if his kids, what if his kids say, he should have been like, he should have been like, I don't want. Now and say, nah, I'm going to stay away from drugs. Lamar Odom. That's what he should have did. Exactly. But he didn't. My nigga, you are you are you listening to yourself? That's the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm making is when he see what drugs did to his mother, when he see what drugs did to his father, when he see what drugs did to Jamie, when he see what drugs did to his other friend, nigga, that's not enough to let you know drugs is fucking bad, Lamar. Drugs is bad, bro. That's like yo. But what I'm I saying is, yo, time out, time out. stuff kept Hold occurring in his life. My nigga, stuff kept occurring in his life all behind fucking drugs. Cause of what? His his cousin died drugs. Jamie died drugs. Mother died drugs. It's like dr- drugs is all fucking his life. He gets suspended. Drugs. He had a DUI. Drugs. drugs. <laughs> he knows the consequences of drug abuse, my nigga. So it's no reason for him to still be a thirty something year old man and still be on drugs, bro. No fucking excuse for that. And he was lucky enough to have a lot of chances. A lot. Exactly. And I hope... I, honestly, they saying he gonna be all right now. I hope this... And this is another chance. Now, now like, let's be real. <laughs> exactly. This is the chance, the ultimate chance of a lifetime, bro. Now, if Lamar go back on drugs, I don't want to hear that shit about his, his problems. Like, cause listen, nigga, everybody got problems. It's how you deal with them, son. It's whatever you choose to do to deal with those problems. But once you have so much at stake, my nigga, he got to do better. He got to do better. But you know what, though? Let's talk about the Kardashians. (laughs) Because even though Lamar had his demons, I feel like them Kardashians played a major part in exploiting that nigga. They exploited his fucking demons for ratings. He chose that. He did. Listen, listen. He signed the contract. Because he signed. He, he married her in what? 2009? Yeah, he was high. <laughs> he but was you, high. But you, you know what? He was high. Nah, 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 bro. You he see, was high. Right there. Oh, when, he married, when he married Chloe, you know what he was probably thinking in his mind? I'm going to after After basketball, what I'm going to do? You know what I mean? He was looking at it like. I can't play ball forever. This is a nice way to market myself and, you know, get a new audience and brand myself after basketball. I don't think he knew exactly what he was signing up for. Because it's like, they it's like this right now. They, nah. they, I'm not talking about they love. Yes, he loved her. I'm talking about the whole jumping on the show and all that shit. Because right now, we can all sit here and say, we want to be famous, we want to be famous. But how much of us really been famous? We don't really know what fame is. He signed up for it because it sound good. Like fucking Chris Humphreys. He signed up for it. You see how fast listen, that nigga listen. got the fuck out of there? Listen, yeah. 72 yeah. days. He was yeah. like, bye, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. That you nigga know? that nigga broke up with Kim Kardashian. I was watching his PCs. This nigga got hit in threes, man. Yes. Shit. I'm you telling know, you I'm because... Oh, it's good. It's Kanye. It's because you got to look at it like, they, they look good. All of them look good. And then plus... They they making money, then they can help you make money by building. You know, like, Lamar Odom name. Right now, if Lamar Odom wants to be going through the same situation without being linked to the Kardashians, he would have got a mention on Sports Center. You know what I mean? They are like, former Laker, blah, blah, blah. But since this shit happened and he was a ex-Kardashian husband, this nigga's on E! News, Entertainment Tonight, 
Afraid of Heights podcast. And that means Chris he did, did her job. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, it works. But sometimes it's at what cost, though. Like, I don't think them niggas be knowing what they sign up. They're like, oh, yeah, we're going to be popping. Okay, you're going to be popping, but what you going to do, bro? It, what, what's it going to cost for you to be popping? Hmm? You gonna, it's going to cost your ass, your life, your, your reputation. And you choose whether or not you want to deal with it. That's what I'm saying. You see, Chris Humphreys was lucky enough to be able to get out of it unscathed. But, like, look at Reggie Bush. He got out Took of the it. fucking Heisman back for him, son. Look at Kanye. Ka- Kanye even slipped. Like, Kanye haven't Kanye had... Kanye Kardashian. Listen, Kanye is one album away from being done done. Kanye just living off the legend status right now, my nigga. Look, look Kanye at- is one bad song away from being fucking... Da-dun-dun. Put that nigga on the Reggie Bush list, my to nigga. To be honest, this... I wasn't thinking about Kanye until he was with Kim. So it put him back on the chart to me. You see? <laughs> but you see, that's because, like I'm saying, the Kardashians do open up an avenue for people, a new lane. But it's like, how? How they gonna, how they gonna use you in that fucking lane? You to, never fucking know. Because look, 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 when Lamar and Chloe was going through their shit, when they was all lovey-dovey, it was Lamar and Chloe takes whatever... It was all good. Lamar was like the beautiful guy still was eating candy, boo, boo, boo. One fucking season later, you see how the narrative shift? Lamar gets the DUI. Lamar's putting Chloe through so much. Kim is worried about Lamar. Everybody's fucking so worried about Lamar. And throughout the whole Chloe and Lamar show, he was doing shit. Chloe's was hiding it. She was holding it in and keeping mm-hmm. it to herself. Okay. And she couldn't take it anymore until so, the point when she had to talk to her family. But this is exactly what I hate about the Kardashians, though. It's just like, are y'all not fucking human beings? Listen, all right, he's going through his shit. Yes, he signed up for it, but that's your husband. If you really love and care about your husband, could you give him that privacy and that and that intimacy? Let him know. No, no, she didn't. Yes, she gave she it to him until, uh, up until a uh, point. It's a, it gotta no, become... it wasn't up until a point. She did until she couldn't do it anymore. And, and then... It, it was already out there in media where she couldn't hide it anymore. That's the only time she spoke out about it. Listen, but she, my thing is she didn't have to speak out about it. She could have left the rumors rumors. No, she had She didn't to. have to go she on... She, to she didn't have to go The way he put himself out there on the show, they had to show, like, what happened to the character. You feel me? No. It's like a TV show. I like, think it was TMZ or something like that, where he was acting out in the streets or something like that. And that's when she had to talk about it on the show. Like, Lamar is out of control. Okay. Going through yeah, all this. Uh, Nobody knows but Rob. Exactly. <laughs> Look at Rob. Look at Rob's situation. Rob going through his whole depression. You know what they do? They don't show Rob. They don't. Let, they don't even talk about. They act like Rob don't fucking exist. Because when Bruce was going through his transition, you notice how they slowly took Bruce, Bruce out. Bruce moved to Malibu. Bruce got his own crib, all discreetly. They didn't discreetly with nothing with Lamar. Yes, it was straight. Lamar it was straight. Lamar was. A, it, it was straight. Lamar did. Angel. Straight Lamar the Angel to straight Lamar the Crackhead. No. Overnight. That's it went from season nine. Season 8, Lamar was lovey dovey. Season 9, Lamar was a crackhead, dog. The Kardashian bitches is with us. The niggas is losers. Bruce seen through what happened to Kylie. She became a star. That nigga switched over to a bitch quick. He was like, I'm not Kanye. You see, exactly. <laughs> I'm not Tiger. I, exactly, though. But you see how they I'm respect. Not Scott they Jesse. respect. They respect Bruce. They respected Bruce's transition. They allowed him his privacy. They allowed that nigga his space to get his shit right. You understand what I'm saying? They only do that for Lamar. Lamar said, I don't want to be on the show no more. But every fucking week, they talking about Lamar on the show. Every week, this nigga, they doing confessionals about Lamar. Oh, we so worried about Lamar. I'm at the club. Lamar popped up at the club. Like, nigga. Every week, Lamar is doing something. He's always out there putting himself out there where he... they Chris, of course, a great manager... She's going to put it out there. Oh. If, they, if somebody else do it, why can't I do it first? So it's cool that she exploits a man's weakness to make money? She should exploit all of them. That's, That's her job. She definitely is a motherfucking pimp. Shout out to Chris. Because she pimps every goddamn body. You notice know, uh, Caitlyn fired her ass. She ain't Who? fucking with her. Caitlyn. Who that, Boost? Caitlyn. <laughs> Boost? Caitlyn. <laughs> Caitlyn. <laughs> you going to respect Caitlyn, okay? Shout out to Vanity Fair, you know what I'm saying? 
But nah, they gave the, they respect everybody except for the motherfuckers that they feel like they're gonna exploit. Yeah. Lamar, they see Lamar's storyline was lit. And TMZ was trending about it. They're like, okay, fuck it, he out there ready. Might as well just jump on the gravy train now. Throw it out there, Chloe. Sorry, and I and I felt sorry for Chloe because you could tell it was a lot of times she didn't even want to talk about it. But it's just like the family on a the whole, they fucking moral compass is so fucked up That's what that they exploit the everything. Head. They exploit everything, dogs. The hot, look, 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 Kylie and. Is basically getting statutory raped by a tiger. They exploit that shit. They are they don't they don't have no morals and no walls. They I hate them. You keep saying it's they. All they of them the are Kardashians, different. Kim, Courtney. Listen, one of them are have a totally different personality. No, look at Courtney. Look at Courtney. Two, I keep saying Chris is doing her job. She's doing what she has to do to make sure all of her daughters, her husband, mm-hmm. wife, whatever you want to call it. Her, her ex-husband, okay? She's making sure everybody's making money. And if she was a At man, you wouldn't be what, saying though? none of this. At the expense you of what, though? You wouldn't be saying none of this if she was a man. If she you was wouldn't. a man? Uh, Listen, what man? Uh, first of all, there ain't no man that's going to be out there exploiting his daughters I, I somebody, the way that she exploits all her daughters and they, they I, significant others. I think Look at Scott Disney. Look at Scott Disney, because Courtney... If Courtney, if it wasn't for the show and shit, Courtney would not be with Scott. She wouldn't even sleep with the men. That's not true because before the show, you know, they was living like that. Man, listen. They've been living in separate beds and having their own problems and he's been drinking and drunk. He's the only child. He's always been a spoiled brat. Exactly. Did not know that? But you see, if it wasn't for the show and the way that Scott drive ratings, Courtney would not stay with Scott. I'm telling you. The look, she be, she be literally disgusted this motherfucker on the that, show. That's true. She don't even want to eat dinner with him. That is she true. She's just like, Scott, excuse yourself. <laughs> she really be tired of this nigga, son. But you know what? Scott's great for TV. Nope, that's not Scott true. Have a, Scott have a fucking problem. As a woman, you do everything in your power to keep your marriage. Uh, they're not married! You for exactly. You know she won't marry him, but she won't break up with him. You see the thing? She he's not good enough to marry, but he she won't break up with him. She won't marry him. They have kids together. They're not even engaged. They're not even engaged. They have kids together. They motherfucker them niggas. They've always been living uncon they've always been living this way. But that's what I'm saying. Listen, what girl you know don't want to get married? Every girl the point the the bottom line of every relationship is to get married. That's not true. Courtney never wants to marry Scott, but she stays with him because Scott is good for ratings. The reason why they berated Lamar Odom through the fucking media is because Lamar was good for ratings. Do you know what drove Lamar crazy, they said? They said Lamar was fine on Saturday when he first got there. He did coke on Saturday. He took two (laughs) girls on Saturday. He was lit on Saturday. You know when shit started to go bad? Fucking Sunday, when he kept up with the goddamn Kardashians. They tried to play my boy like he was motherfucking nuts. And that's he lost it. Because at some point, yo, he's already down. And then it's just like they dragging his name through the motherfucking media, dogs. And then look, when he's in the hospital, they all, first, oh, Chloe is by his side. Oh, Chris is by his side. Kim is by his side. Where the fuck was y'all two weeks ago when he was really in the gutters and being down. Y'all was running away from him. Y'all was saying, why is he stalking me and all this shit? But soon as now that is he's trending topic because he's unconscious, everybody want to be at his fucking bedside. That's not true because honestly, mm-hmm. he's been in the NBA. He's been the star for a long time. Not, in a, not He a, was the sixth man. Sixth he got man. two championships. Perfect. Sixth man. He was not a star like how he was a star now. He's the biggest star now. But you know what yes. they call him? He's reality TV star Lamar Odom instead of and fucking NBA six men. Because they made him men. that way. Thank you. Yes, they did they, make him yes, that way. Yes, the But what I'm trying to say is, no matter what, he would have been in the media because he was in the NBA. But it wouldn't have been covered. He would not have been the most trending topic. He would not have been. He would not have been the trending topic. Antoine Walker. There's been many a former NBA All-Stars that had drug problems and, had, and, and and died and shit like that where they never even mentioned him. They just mentioned him one time on Sports Center. They went bankrupt or whatever because of their drugs or some shit. This nigga is on every media outlet because of the Kardashians. 
Chris did her job. Chris always do her job. <laughs> and Chris she made sure all of Kardashian. And then did. look at it though. You know what's their job? They pee on men with weaknesses. Kanye, they know he got he got a bunch of issues. He's insecure. He got but he got a bunch of issues. Watch his last six interviews and pick one. But listen, Tiger, he like younger bitches. Scott, drug addict. Okay. Lamar, drug addict. You know what you knew, but you know what the what's the Tiger like topic? younger bitches. Bruce what? went to be a bitch's old life. You see, all them niggas got issues. What's trending with what's the trending topic there is all of those people are good storylines for their TV show. And if you notice, if you notice, they all made sure they was there while Lamar was in the old Lamar Odom was in the hospital. You know why? Because they know that it was going to be millions of media outlets covering this. So they made sure they was there. Chris made sure she walks outside the hospital and timely, and timely poses crying. And you could have cried in the lobby. You could have cried in the lobby, my G. There's no fucking photographers in the lobby. You know, you know so what? She was doing her job. No! Now's not the time to do your job when a man's life is hanging in the balance. You know, I know this whole no. Kardashian shit was bullshit. No. When they, when they released this uh, statement saying he reached for Kim Han, I'm like, okay. Oh, they said. Out of he... all the motherfuckers in the room, we're going to reach for the star. Trust Kim me. Han. Look, come on, bro. They selling... Then they said all the Kardashians is going to be blacked out from social media, blah, 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 blah. Like, really? Man, what is all that for? Kylie was on a live stream during the, the whole, when the whole thing went down. The whole family flew to Las Vegas. But nobody seemed to tell Kylie, like, listen, Kylie, get the fuck off Twitter. We, we're we going through a family crisis. She was busy partying. She mm-hmm. didn't realize what was going on. But now all of a sudden, it's, it's social media blackout. Man, shut the hell up. It's social media blackout. But Chris Jenner goes on Entertainment Tonight last night and gives a statement. Talking about, oh, he's breathing with a mask, but he's still having issues. With... Shut up. You're, are you his publicist, bitch? Why the fuck are you giving goddamn official statements? He's not your client. Her daughter is. He's that's her and daughter's her ex-husband. Daughter's husband. Ex-husband. No, ex-husband. Not ex- current husband no, at the moment. Legally, legally, but they they haven't been together since what two thousand what. But 13? they both want to be together. She just did an interview the other day saying, "If I could be with him, I would be." But she why? Well, she can't because she have a drug problem. Why don't she seek to he, make sure he gets help? He don't want help. He keep doing his own shit. He do what the fuck he want to do. Exactly, but. She's not his publicist. Chris Jenner's not his publicist. Why she's going out giving official statements about uh, his medical state? She is it's confidential those type of things. But you know what it also does? It drives the Kardashian brand. That's as long as it drives the Kardashian brand. That's all that matters. That's the bottom line. That's all the Kardashian care about is what gets the people talking. What breaks the internet? That's all they care about. They will literally get down butt naked. If it means Twitter likes or Instagram likes. They need likes. to show what's going on with Rob fat ass. Exactly. Why don't they show... Exactly. Let's talk about Rob. Bruce, Why don't they show Rob? And Bruce, old bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> they show Bruce. Bruce had a show. This shit got canceled. It wasn't entertaining. You know why? Because Bruce is trying to be a positive male. Real female. <laughs> Bruce didn't change his private parts, so he's still a man. Yeah. But we gotta respect his rights to be called Caitlyn. I call him, it, I think I call her. The reason why I go so hard on Boost because I think it's a scam. I think when the cameras it, go, when the cameras go exactly. off, I think he's right back to Boost. And and you know what? For though, all the people that's out there that's really living that, they shouldn't be looking up to him. And you know what? So that's whole why thing, I go hard on Boost. And you know what's the thing with that too? Is they lost all credibility. Is because knowing the Kardashians, they will literally go through all of that. The trend to get yeah. the titties and all that. I feel like they would really do all of that for ratings. Yeah, I don't think it's... it's, it's they would. Like, it's trendies out here that's that's really out here living it. I think he's just on it for the TV. I think when the cameras go off, he's right back to boost with the ponytail. And when he know the camera's about to come, <laughs> nah, he put on the dress. I thought he was a little gay the whole time. I really nah, didn't. Nah, I, I was nah, thinking he nah. Because yes, he was I an mean. Olympic. He was, yeah, like, he was like he was a big man. He played like, helicopters yeah. and all that. Just because he, he was Down out of nowhere, he wanted to be a girl. Nah, wrist nah, and nah yes. I don't know, nah. though. So he was like a real nigga. Yes. He was a man. So I was to see Bruce was like a real nigga. He golfed and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But even like, right, look, 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 Master P was coming at Kobe Bryant, talking about uh, how come Kobe didn't help Lamar get back in. See, right there again, it's like passing the buck, my nigga. You can't pass the buck like that. 
Who, Kobe's a grown ass man. He got his family worried about. He cannot petition for Lamar Odom. He tried to get Phil Jackson to get on the fucking team. Where's Phil Jackson at? At the fucking Knicks. Still not back at Lakers. So Master P, shut the fuck up. What the hell are you talking about, nigga? Don't shut. Don't. Sh- I mean, Master P, shut the fuck up. All right. This is it. Shut the fuck up. Don't ever come at the motherfucking mom, but nigga. Yeah, what is wrong with you? I you mean, stupid. This like the nation over here, nigga. You don't I mean, ever come at. You don't ever come at Kobe. Hey, nigga. shut listen. up. That was a genuine move for Kobe. He left the game before it was over to go see his man's. That's some real nigga shit. And then he said. Then he come said, on, man, get that, the fuck out of here, Master um, P. Why? Why didn't Master P go motherfucking visit Lamar? Master P. He don't even nigga. probably know the nigga talking about something. He I was the first one. Shut up. Shut up. Kobe went, motherfucker. Kobe was dead, nigga. Where you was? Shut the fuck up, Master P. Forever, nigga. Don't ever come at motherfucking Kobe with your fucking gold teeth in your mouth, nigga. I see DC these nuts, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Mind your goddamn business, nigga. Yo, washed ass. Lake of Nation, stand up, nigga. Hashtag, nigga. Lake of Nation. I'm holding it down. Waving the flag for niggas, B. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anything else y'all niggas want to add, B? But you know what, though? We're going to end this episode by saying, Lamar Odom, get well soon, nigga. And I hope this is a motherfucking wake-up call for your ass. I don't want to hear nothing else. Because anything else from this after this point, my G, it's going to be like, fuck that nigga. I'm sorry. But for now, it's get Not well soon, me. my nigga. Pray for them all. Hashtag pray for pray them for all. Them all. Hashtag afraid of heights, nigga. But you know what, though? Follow the guys on Instagram. The Heights 100. Flea Cobain. Unruly underscore Hershey. Thanks for listening.